time in the summer, didn't we? Yeah. A uh, nice one. <laughs> Fairy tale one, but this is yeah. where most people are getting there. Yeah, yeah. Over 90% of the pigs are factory farmed in the UK. Yeah. yeah. So why do you think it's wrong? I know this sounds nuts, yeah, but. So here we are, Leicester Square, London. We've got the pigs on the screen. I gathered this footage recently for my Uncovered campaign. And we're taking this footage out to the English public to see what they think about this. You know, that's me on the screen inside those farms. I mean, I think it lends the, the footage some credibility seeing as the person who's outreaching them is actually inside of these uh, farms here with the pigs. So horrible footage, let's see if we can persuade some people away from buying animal products. Hey mate. That's me in the. Oh, it's you, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, these are called farrowing sheds, or they're barns that they keep the uh, mothers in when they have the piglets and they're stuck in these prisons. Oh, yeah. Can't turn around. No, no. How did, how did you get in there? I just walked in. Did walk in there? Okay. Didn't break in anything. Oh, okay. just, yeah. I, I like to go to these places that when the farmer doesn't know because then you get to see the real reality of it. Because if they clean up all the dead piglets on the ground, all the. You know, they're not going to let you. They're not going to let you in there anyway. No, no. You could go and ask one, I bet you he'll say no, no. or they'll say no. We but... went to the farm in the summer, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, a nice one. <laughs> yeah, well, one, one that's like a fairy tale one, but this is yeah. where most people are getting there. Yeah, yeah. Over 90% of the pigs are factory farmed in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you buy pork and it says like RSPCA um, approved or yeah. on it, does that, does that mean anything? Or... It means as much as, I don't know, like you trust the label. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever see pigs out in the fields? We do when because our parents live down in the countryside. Yeah. We see them quite often. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're in yeah. the fields. Okay. In, in, in and do you know where they go after the fields? Well, I guess to go to the abattoirs. Yeah. Do you know what the main method for yeah. killing pigs in the UK is? Is it? Is that stun or CO2? CO2. CO2 gas. CO2. Yeah, CO2 gas chamber. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen images from inside? I have seen it on TV before. Yeah. yeah. Well. In the, the, the only time it's been on TV is on a show called Veganville oh, right. in episode three. Maybe it's YouTube. I've seen it anyway. On YouTube, you might have yeah, seen it. Yeah. yeah, but that's where they all go from the free range facility or from the factory farms, which is most of them. Yeah, yeah. They all go to the gas chamber, which is a horrible yeah. dungeon with a yeah, yeah. excruciating pain. The CO2 is like yeah. when you crack a can of Coke, that, that burning CO. I don't know if you ever drank a Coke and you got that CO2 in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. It's a horrible, horrible yeah. way to die. Yeah, yeah. Well. Cool. I mean, cool to talk to you. I mean. but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we got this. Yeah. No, We're asking people not to pay for these places and yeah, to yeah, not, not pay for yeah, yeah. if you care about animals. It's going a bit better this way because there's a more vegan stuff out there. It's more, yeah. uh, you know, even vegan, vegan turkey breasts for Christmas now. Like yeah, yeah, like the Wicked range is really good for that. First, so, yeah. You know, I mean, it's better than, you know, you can trust the label if you want. I don't trust labels. I know exactly what's behind them. Yeah. They, they can put a label on anything, mate, and just tell you that it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. whatever. People yeah, believe it. They yeah, want it your conscience. You want it to be like quelled and yeah, yeah. okay. Let me see. It's marketing. It's yeah, it's marketing. They yeah. pay people to do it. They do. <laughs> but anyway, good luck. Take care. It's good talking good to you, mate. Out, a pleasant conversation. The kids are pretty interested in what's happening to the animals. Concerned. She has a concerned look on her face. They might have stopped and thought. Oh, look at the farm animals. I want to see what's going on with the farm animals, but then realize that they're sad. There's feces all over them. There's dead piglets everywhere. They're scratched up and they're suffering. You know what I mean? We are vegans for years. You're vegans? Fans. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. So to say hi. Oh, wow. Thank you. I, got, I actually filmed this footage the other night in England. Okay. So now I'm showing it to people. How long have you been vegan? Since 2012. And you? Oh, for me, less. Less. Couple of years, yeah. yeah. Wow, long term vegan. Well, I was vegetarian since I was 11, and it's actually the PETA videos that made me realize the dairy situation. Oh, wow. Because I thought it's the happy cow, you know, and then I saw the videos and you just realize yeah. you have to stop. Yeah, if you go vegetarian for ethics, it only makes sense you go vegan for ethics because all the other industries now are you've got just the as bad. Yeah, yeah, there's no other reason not to. Exactly. And you got hearts, and I appreciate it. Good Take care. See you later. 
In England? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, these are standard, like everyone you walk into, if you ever go into a... These are the mother sheds. So essentially they, they impregnate them, usually by like some artificial means, they'll get the semen from a boar, and they put, put the semen in the female. Then they'll gestate them, so when they're pregnant, then I'll chuck them in here, and they're fat. So they'll, they'll put them in there while they're about to give birth, and they give birth in there. Then they'll stay in there for like six weeks, and then they will take them out, dry them out, regestate them, and put them back in there. So it's like they keep imprisoning them, and they can't turn around in there. They get these sores on the side of their body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always dead piglets around them. They, they live with their dead piglets around them. They can't, they're covered in. It's just not. But these places, they're like... I've seen on TV before. Me? Yeah. yeah. There's a thing, Wells, down in Wells, was it? Veganville. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow you on Instagram, I think. I do, yeah. I was just having a chat with you about <laughs> pig. Was he following me? What's going on? Are you a vegan yet? Yeah, I am. Oh, you're a vegan? Yeah. I said, well, well, you're not. I'm not yet, no. He's yeah. sort of, he is as I much mean, as he is. He, he's at home. No, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I, I good. Mean, listen. Yeah, I've got. I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get there. I always say it, don't I? So, do you think this is wrong? So wrong. That's it. Yeah. So, so why do you think it's wrong? I know this sounds nuts, yeah, but so I'll give up red meat, right? Like cows. Cows. Yeah. I don't eat pork. It's only chicken in it. That's my thing at the minute. Like, Birds. My thing go to, but. Dude, oh my god! I was just showing people what I the horrible place I went into. You know, it's called a parent breeder shed. Have you heard of them? Yeah. Where they, um, There's chickens that you people people eat. Yeah. They come from mums and dads, so the mums and dads fertilise the eggs. So they get put in this shed, and um, they get forced to mate with the roosters, and they can't escape the roosters. They get scratched up, losing feathers, dying in there. Um, they're some of the most horrible facilities. But they will supply the chickens out to all the um, you know the chicken places. But birds by far are the most tortured animal. Like you, if you walk into a pig farm, right? You'll see the sad animals, you'll see some dead piglets. You go into any chicken shed, right? RSPCA, you, there's gonna be dead, suffering chickens on the ground. The farmer cannot tend to 40,000 chickens. They just can't. So there's always suffering. You know what the problem is? Ugh. I think the problem is with people, they don't identify what they're eating as what it, they don't identify what's on their plate oh, as an animal anymore. If they showed this to kids in school, that's they they love that like going to petting farms. Yeah. They're never gonna they, they look at these well, lovely lambs, they're never gonna be like... It might as well be a Beyond Burger, something. like, you could have a Beyond Burger, right? You, you know, if you could eat that burger, and you're not like thinking of the peas, like it is detached from it. So yeah. if people eat a beef burger or a bit of chicken, like, you don't think of this little suffering bird when you're eating a chicken. Like if I went and kicked a pigeon right now, you'd probably punch me in the head, like, Yeah, you know. of course. So like... You know, but you're paying for that horrible t suffering, torture, you know what I mean? It's against your values. So you, essentially what you're doing is something that's against your values. And then you're taking on the car, this is what I've been saying. I you feel the karma. It's my mindset up because... It's the car. Because when I am with Emma and the girls, so my, my, my girls are vegan, right, aren't they? Yeah, the girls uh, are. The girls are. are. You children? Yeah. yeah. And they're vegan? Yeah. yeah. So it's just me and I've got to just... When I'm with them at home and all that, it's just... I don't think you've had it very easy. It's just come out I've, I've just come out, well, I've just so. done five and a half years. Five and a half years, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's so, mad. So in there, it's kind of like... You eat what you're given, eh? To... But wait a second, they, they, they cater for vegans and... That's probably Stop. great. But what, were you in uh, maximum security or lowest? No, you could buy your commissary and that? Yeah, 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 you can. But it's mainly like, you, you trade with your macros and... It's mackerel, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mainly, to be fair, mainly in there, it's mackerel. And yeah, yeah it's tuna and that, eh? Yeah, or, and yeah. Tuna. But look, listen, I know it's me, and, and I, know I've got just, to, yeah. I know it's the right thing to do. I've just got, to, I only got bought out a month ago. So Bro, you got a new, um, five years is a long time. Yeah. I did uh, about six months, and I did 18 months on Home D. And when I come out of six months, I, I was like, oh my God, I'm not going back there, man, eh? And I, ne I never went back. Yeah, because uh, five years is a yeah, pretty so, big, yeah. No, was, Whack, yeah, man. Time, three and a half years in just like C cat and then two years in D cat. Home, Shit. Home, no, the yeah. Yeah, but look, listen, I know it's the On right you, bro. Way, you know? At least you're thinking that way, man, yeah, eh? No, like, I am. I am. Yeah. I am. Like, yeah. I, am, I, am like, I am thinking that way. And like, his lunches, they're all yeah, full vegan. Yeah, my lunches. Because I cook it and his dinners are full vegan. You should give so this guide to, you know, this guide's hell easy, bro, eh? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, 
Uber Eats, or I don't know where you go. Like, do you go Subway, Greg's, Burger King? See, I'm going Greg's, and I promise you, I'll get a vegan he gets sausage vegan roll. You do? No, he goes it's how easy. Food. You do? I believe you, man. I believe you. Burger King, you've got the pub. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, yeah, like, bro, in there, they've got the vegan um, chicken royale. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so you can just go bang. Bang, no, that's it's an easy there. choice. Subway, you can just go bang because they've got killer they've vegan got options at the Meatball Sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got the other yeah. chicken. Uh, TLC, it's called um, something TLC. It's easy now just to make. Wagamamas, I don't, I don't know where you're, you're going to be struggling out here to be vegan, bro. Oh, not eh? Now, not now. Yeah. We went shopping Sainsbury's today, and their whole thing's like. It's mad. Yeah. There. It's, it's, yeah. it's mad. It's killer. It's really good. Um, bro, I'm so happy for you to be out, man. Hey, eh? good on you, bro. Hey, eh? uh, I know what it feels like, man. Hey, eh? it's crazy. But you, you right now, you, you've got this whole new like. You can start all fresh, man, eh? You know what I mean? And this can be like one of those pages that you turn like, okay, well, what? like when I got out and I was sober, because I, I went in because of drugs and yeah. gangs and that, and I was been sober in jail, and I was like, started making all these sober decisions. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to hurt animals. I'm not going to bash anyone anymore. Yeah. I'm not going to use drugs anymore, you know? But yeah, it's just little steps, isn't it? It's just, yeah. it's kind of just being um, mindfully strong, isn't it? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? And I got through what I got through, being mindfully strong, and then I've come out, and it's kind of like, you, your mind becomes weak again. You don't want to let that like demon nah. creep back in because yeah. first it's one night out with the boys, yeah, yeah. next minute this it's, it. you know it. what I mean? But this is easy. Yeah. Stop, overnight, bang. Yeah. Yeah. My brother still hits the piss and that and he, he still gets drunk and that and he's been vegan for six years. Really, yeah. So he just gets drunk and then he'll get some vegan junk foods but it's just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, some chips. Yeah, you get some Burger King, get some like Subway or something, <laughs> like I don't know. But you know. No, no, listen, speaking to today, tomorrow, now, isn't it? Yeah, you just don't do it, yeah, that's it, done. Yeah, man. It is. Especially when you sit, so I said you need to watch. Yeah, I need to watch, like, because you've got to I make the watched, connection. I mean, Sea Spiracy, I watched that, Cal Spiracy. Land of Hope and Glory is a good one oh, for. I haven't heard of that one. Land of Hope and Glory is the. Um, is that on it? Earthling Ed made it, but it's. Uh, okay. It's all the farms, man, and all the slaughter. And it's pretty hectic, man, eh? But uh, well, they I'm... should be showing kids in school. They should, they should man. It's all day long. It's education, isn't it? Well, I, would, I just we just went in with a camera to like a few, like I went to ten farms, right? And uh, every single one of them was messed up, man. Yeah. Every single one of them. Every single one. Every yeah. One farm. Well, some of them are cleaner than others, but like the mothers are in a cage. Yeah. Like you know, when you say you're in a solitary confinement, right? Yeah. I don't know if they've ever. You, there's no TV in that, no, no, and no, it, yeah, no, right. time goes hell slow. But they're stuck in a cage where they can't even turn around. That's the worst imprisonment I've ever seen, man. But like, even bodybuilding, training, everything, get, you can get 180. That was a, that was you had that guy, didn't you, from Game America? Changer. Yeah, Cor Corinne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch it in there? Did you watch Vegan Bill in there? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that, eh? Yeah, yeah. We're all talking about it. Yeah. There's obviously training there, everyone's training. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, I need my chicken, I need dinner. Yeah. You know, in there, like, if you work on a server, you save up your chickens and then all that. And then this come on and everyone's like, one of my pals in vegan, he was like, look at this geezer. Like, yeah, yeah. Look at the shape he's in. Yeah, yeah. He looks better than, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It was yeah, but it's, it's, well, you need protein, you don't need meat. You yeah, know, you need protein. Yeah, yeah. You need carbs, you need fat, but you don't need a dead animal to process that plant into the protein, you know what I mean? You're just missing out the middle person. You'd probably need about, like, average person, if you're weight training, probably 150 grams, I don't know, like 200 tops. Yeah. You know, like, and you can get that easy on plants. Yeah. Easy, man. Anyway, yeah. to Great Good talking to you, bro. Yeah. Good luck, man. Congratulations being out, bro. Hey, how good's that, man? Just got out of jail and he's thinking about going vegan. What a legend! Oh my god, man. Like, how the hell do they allow this, man?